days in front of me, the devil's maze is a good world. Welcome to Squad School, episode 4. These are the topics of the day. I'm gonna go straight at it. So I'm gonna show you a gameplay clip that shows why you need to understand long-term thinking. But first, I will quickly explain the situation of the game the moments before the clip starts. So my team is trying to attack the airfield from the north, but the enemies have a great defensive setup. They have a hab just south of cap and a tap V that's covering the east road and flank. They also have MBT covering the runway and the west flank. With this setup the enemies are farming us and they could keep doing so until they cap our next flag and win the game. Their vehicles are stopping us from flanking and we are forced to attack the enemy infantry head on. What you did not see in the clip was how we broke through the enemy's great defense. And the truth is, we didn't. The enemies gave it up. So this is what happened. When my team stopped trying to use the east flank, the tap V got bored of not getting kills. And failing to think long term, they moved up to get more kills and they got destroyed. If you think other squad players would benefit from watching this video, then leave a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. The second reason to how we got through was that the last two enemies holding the east side decided to push. They clearly failed to think long term. The enemy team did not need to kill our guys outside of the warehouse. All they needed was for all their guys to play their part in the overall defense and they would have won game. Remember, squad is all about the team play, so don't play for the kills, play for your team. Both teams are rushing second caps, blue is too slow and can't stop red from getting into cap, but red kills the back cappers from blue. Now if blue have a difficult time to switch mindset from long term to short term gain, they might think that it's good to stay and fight to maintain their control and pressure. But they're failing to see that team's short term needs which is to get their second cap, and red team is now capping all the flags and blue is losing the game. But if blue is fast to switch to short term thinking, they will fall back or respawn to make sure they will get the back caps and they can stabilize the game and have a good chance to win. It was clear to me that the guys I was playing against did not properly communicate with their teammates. First of all, the guys that pushed should have been in agreement with others to just hold the fort. And when they died, the first thing they and you should do is to let the team know what happened and then to open the map and try to help the squad by calling out important information like 
no one is covering the east entrance, or a blueberry died close to the rally, and so on. The enemies inside had no idea that I was coming around from the east entrance, and they had all the time in the world to get ready for it. It's important that you know how capable you are at dealing with the situation at hand in the moment it's happening. For example, when I recorded this gameplay footage, I was very tired and I was not really feeling it. Had I been more sharp-minded, I might have tried to commit to killing the guy in the corner, and maybe even pushing further in to give my team more space to work with. But I decided in the moment that I wasn't focused enough and I could not justify the risk of me dying, so I played it more safe. Knowing your limits it's about analyzing the situations as a whole. For example, in every game you have to feel out how good the enemies are. In some cases they might be very bad at aiming and you can make more risky moves. And in other games you might be up against some really good shooters and you have to slow it down and play more cautiously than you normally do. You have to know your limits to make sure that you don't take too many stupid unnecessary risks that will get you killed. You might be the one dying, but your team will have to pay the price, and deal with the consequences of your actions. I am going to do another video about long and short term thinking, where I will dig deep into the subject, because I do think it's a very important aspect of the game that a lot of players overlook. You have to know why you're doing something, and when to do it, to get the most out of it. To know when to play for the long or short game is crucial for any player, and especially for squad leaders. Thanks for watching and please help me reach more players by liking the video and subscribe if you want to see more.